seconds now. So can you turn in your books to page 26, please? And a limiting reactant question is just a more complicated mass to mass calculation. Please, no talking. Uh, you will know it's a limiting reactant question if you're given the masses of both reactants. Uh, and obviously on the assignment it tells you find the limiting reactant and in the booklet here you've got a list of questions that come after the limiting reactant theory so you know they're limiting reaction questions. In the exam it won't tell you. It will assume that you'll know if you're given two masses that you're going to have to determine the limiting reactant first. Okay, so this is an important thing to remember. Um, and I guess uh, I do like the, you know, it could be like the ham sandwich or cheese sandwich analogy of if you're, you're making, you know, you buy a, a packet of, just say you buy a packet of sliced cheese and you buy a loaf of bread and you just make however many sandwiches you can make out of the packet of cheese and the loaf of bread oftentimes they don't match up and you're going to have leftover, either leftover bread or leftover cheese slices. Okay? And the one that runs out first is the limiting reactant in your sandwich making. And it's just the same here. So if we look at the example, it's asked us to calculate the mass of silver bromide that can be formed if a solution containing 15 grams of silver nitrate is allowed to react with a solution containing 10 grams of calcium bromide. Okay, I know it's limiting reactant because I've got two masses. I'm, I also need my balanced equation. So I had um, 15 grams of silver nitrate and I had 10 grams of calcium bromide. What I must do is find the moles for both. So if I'm going to find the moles then for silver nitrate, Just like our previous um, mass calculations, where we're using this relationship here, where the moles will equal the sample mass divided by the um, molar mass. For the silver nitrate, it will equal 15 grams divided by 107.9 plus what's 14.01 plus 3 times 16. Okay, the mole of acid silver nitrate, which gives us a value according to the booklet, and it's probably pretty right, 0.08829 moles. Now I know, I've said to you about sig figs that um, we, we want to match our sig figs with our answer. This is not the final answer, so I'm carrying, I'm just writing, I'm just doing a, a uh, calculator dump onto the page so I don't do any rounding yet. Because if I round and I'm looking for a limiting reactant, I might end up um, not being able to find it properly. Now we need to repeat the process for the calcium bromide. This time we had 10 grams. Calcium is what, 40? Uh, is it 40.08 on our formula sheet? Yeah. And I don't know what. Plus 2 times 79.1. Right, and we get.
get here 0 0.0509. Okay, so we've just done the same as any other mass mass calculation so far, except I, I had to find the moles for both um, reactants. Now there's two ways to proceed from here. Okay, so this I'm called method one. We're going to need to pick one of our reactants to go on top. So um, my moles of silver nitrate divided by my moles of calcium bromide is equal to 0.08829 divided by 0 0.0500, which gives me 1.77. Now, if I look at the equation, I've got a 2 here, and I've got a 1 that I haven't written. So, because the silver nitrate is on top, I'm interested to know, I'm going to write this fraction, okay, just with the, the mold, the, the balanced equation there, the, the, uh, the ratio that they're present. So, 2 divided by 1 is equal to 2. 1.77 is less than 2, and so silver nitrate is the limiting reactant. And that's why I put LR up here in brackets, is that we don't write the words, it takes too long. So this is an accepted abbreviation. Now if I did that with the other, the other way around, right? So if I did instead choose to put calcium on top, calcium bromide on top. And before I do that, because I'm starting the booklet, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05, 0.05,
0.08829 moles of silver nitrate. Okay, I'll look and see what I have. That's what I have. So I don't have enough. That number there is smaller than that number there. So therefore, uh, the silver nitrate is the limiting reactant. Okay, so there's there's two ways to do it. There's a like a, this is a more mathematical approach where you're looking at just making a ratio. This is probably more a, a logic and application of logic method. But I can just pick one of these amounts, find out how much I need of the other one, and then compare it to what I actually have, and figure out the limiting reactant that way. Would either method get you more marks than the other? No. Okay. So you use whichever method works for you. Okay. And I could, I can repeat this whole thing and do it the other way around. I could have done it for silver nitrate. But just like down here, I'm going to come to the same conclusion just from the other, the other end. Like instead of this one, finding that this one is the limiting reactant, I would be just finding that yeah, this one is in excess. Well, do you actually do anything from that? Or is that all the material that you do? Uh, no, there's definitely more to do um, with that. So, this has really only just got us to, um, to part two. So for part three, we were asked to Tell me a question. Calculate the mass of silver bromide. So this is what we have, this is what we're trying to do. We haven't actually got to answering your question yet. But we can't do that until we know which one's the limiting reactant. Okay? So all of our calculations now need to be based on this. Because this one's in excess. So you ignore it now, and we look to see well, what's the mole ratio of um, silver, silver nitrate to silver bromide. Is uh, one to one, isn't it? So therefore, the moles of silver bromide formed is that. And when I want to calculate the mass of silver bromide, I'm going to use this relationship again. Uh, so that is my, my moles multiplied by 7.9 plus, what's it, 79.9. Sixteen point seven grams. So you can identify a limiting reactant question because you're given the reacting quantities for both reactants. Then once you've done that, you need to make sure that you only calculate beyond that using the moles of the limiting reactant. Now sometimes questions become even more complex than that where you might then be asked to determine the concentration of ions in solution. And then you need to make sure that you include the excess of the limiting reactant as well as any ions on this side that are present. But we don't need to worry about that just yet. Any other questions? <coughs>